Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project about tracking system and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I am using is the Python 3.7 and Django version is 2 and MySQL version is 5.6. Also for connecting Django with MySQL, Django Python with MySQL, I have used MySQL connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website even you can install it through pip. Right, so this is the technology stacks, the back end and server side technology stacks. For front end development, I have used bootstrap themes and uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like for form validations and many more things I have used jQuery libraries. So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project bug tracking system. So let's start with the functionality, go through that what we have developed inside this project and what's available inside this project, right? So uh, the project title is bug tracking system and it's a major project developed in python django and mysql and it's a web based application right there are four types of user available here in the system the first one is admin second one is a tester third one is a manager and fourth one is a developer right there are four types of uh, uh, users available in this in the system right so let's just start so this is the home page of the project and this is a bootstrap theme you can see this is a simple source home page Right, this is the about of the project and it's the about project. This is a static page, there is nothing dynamic on it. This is a login page from where all of the users can log in and in, <coughs> according to the rules and the permissions, the internal functionality will be changed. This is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page. I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database, even I'm not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. Right, this is a real time Google map and it will work only and only if you have internet connection on your laptop else this will not load it this will not be loaded so i am going to log in as an admin first so the user id is admin and password is test once you log in as an admin then you can see a lot of options here admin can see the bug report <coughs> so you can see this is the bug report all of the bugs raised by the developer will be displayed here this is a bug title username email contact number and this is the uh, uh, type right so all of the high priority will be red low priority will be orange information will be uh, in blue background color right if you click on the view you will be able to see the details of the bug and after that you can put your comments here you can see all of the developers has put your put their comments here right so this is the details of the bug right now i am going to again bug report this is an edit from here admin can edit you can see okay so this is the tester code bug date each and everything you can edit and you can update the details right this is a delete if you click on the delete then this bug will be deleted from the database and you will not be able to access that again this is a hard delete so this is the bug report this is a bug type report so uh, this add new bugs functionality contains the bug type right like high priority low priority and information so from here you can see the bug type report right if you want to edit and you can edit and update it right one more thing i want to tell you so this all menu options are like available here in the header bar also so you can see these are the lot of menus here right so i am going to this one so add new bug from here admin can add the new bugs this is add new bug type from here admin can add the new bug types this is the add new bug status so status means it's uh, closed or in working or in progress admin can add the status here this is add new department so admin can add the department from here add new project admin can add the products here projects here here you need to choose the department name and the project lead right and this is add new project this is add new user from here admin can select the role that what type of roles he is adding and after that that role will be added for that user and after logging he will get that as that dashboard which he has associated for right so this is adding user in the report part you can see all of the bugs right i already explained this is a status report so you can see open close in progress pending right this is a bug type report you can see this is a bug type report this is all of the department report and this is all of the project reports right if you want to edit it just click on the edit and that will be open into the editable format this is a user report all of the users which you have added will be displayed here this is a my account section from where you will be able to update your account details 
This is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password and logout. Once you click on the logout, then above administration menu will not be displayed, right? So you can see administration menu is not displaying because this is session driven menu. Now I am going to log in as a manager, right? Once you log in as a manager, you will get a lot less option because manager has less rights. So the manager can see the bugs and manager can only see his project bugs. He will not be able to see other project bugs, right? So he will be able to see his bugs. He will be able to see his projects, right? He will be able to see users report, all of the users he will be able to see, but he will not be able to edit and delete. You can see edit and delete options are not available here, right? User can see add the bug, right? And then he can see my account and change password. The same option is available here also. You means manager can add the bug and see the bug reports, see my project reports and then user support. And then after that, my accounts and change password. So this is the manager login with less than rights. So you can see very less menu is available here. Now I'm going to log in as a developer. So for login, if you log in as a developer, then you will get very fewer options, right? You can see all of the bug reports here, right? And after that, you will be able to add the box also. You can see this is the add box, right? And this is bug reports, this is the race box, and this is the dashboard. And after that, you can update your account and as well as you can change your password too. And the logout. Once you click on the logout, the session will be destroyed. Now, the tester and developer has same dashboards, but you can see this is the bug report, add bug, change password, right? This is the same report right my account and change password so as i told you earlier this is a major project which has four level of user login developer tester manager and the admin right and he can perform different types of operations this is a totally bug tracking system which i have developed in uh, python django and mysql right so developer can also Post the box. Say once you click on the view, then he will be able to post a box up right if title and title this is working fine right here. This functionality is working fine right. And once you click on the post comment, that comment will be saved, and you can see this is posted by this developer right. And once you click on the bug report, you will be able to see. Developer can also, he will not be able to delete the bug. Even he can close the bug also. Once he click on the close, then, and this is the property. And if you want to change, then and you can enter the date, bug level priority. Once you click on the submit, you can see that has been closed, right? That has been closed. This is a post, right? And this is a low priority bug, right? And we'll log out. So these all functionalities are we have developed inside this project bug tracking system. And as I told you earlier, this is a Python Django and MySQL major web based project. And if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate the changes. I will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects, videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.